Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, first of all, um, I'd like to thank the organizers for giving me the opportunity to speak here. Um, my talk is about um, heterotic bundles on Tori Calabia manifolds uh, based on this paper with um, Yang Hui Ha, uh, Max Kruger, and Andre Lucas. <coughs> so, um, I'll start with some rudiments of um, heterotic smooth Calabia models and um, I'll describe how we actually construct Evacua using some algebraic, algebraic geometric toolkits, and I'll finish with result and outlook. So um, our goal is to um, search for the standard models coming from heterotic EA times EA theory, and actually to do so in a rather systematic and algorithmic manner. The full dimensional low energy theory um, is obtained from compactifying an internal six dimensional manifold X and um, in order to preserve n equals 1 supersymmetry, um, basically two ingredients are required. Uh, first of all, uh, we need to choose uh, the internal manifold x to be a Calabria threefold, and we should also um, turn on some internal gauge field on a holomorphic and stable vector bundle, so that um, this set of PDEs um, should be obeyed by the background. Um, we'd like to impose some more constraints uh, on the geometry so that we can get closer to the standard model. Uh, firstly, um, the um, uh, structure group of our vector bundle reduces the um, low energy gauge group, and the natural choice would be SU3, 4, or 5, uh, respectively giving rise to uh, E6, SO10, and SU5 gut groups uh, in the low energy. And we have in mind of further breaking them down to the standard model group by uh, discrete Wilson lines. Um, <coughs> secondly, um, for the anomaly cancellation, uh, the difference between these two C2s um, should be cancelled by five brains or by effective curve classes. And therefore, we um, require that um, this actually lies in the Morricone of the Calabria X. <coughs> um, as for the particle spectrum, um, the net number of generations is given by uh, the index of the vector bundle V. Uh, and this is the um, uh, last condition we want to impose on the uh, model building so that we can have three generations. Uh, here, um, we actually have to um, uh, have allow for some positive integer kappa, because at the end of the day, we will want to quotient the manifold x by some freely acting discrete symmetry group of some positive order kappa. Of course, the possible values of kappa should be also constrained by uh, the geometry. <coughs> uh, now. Um, before starting any um, systematic scan or systematic model building, we should um, first decide which classes of Calabias and vector bundles we want to deal with. Um, as for the Calabia threefolds, um, a prototypical construction is uh, the quintic hypersurface in uh, P4, which actually has a natural generalization to um, the class of hypersurface Calabia threefolds in Tori varieties. Um, this uh, has actually uh, been completely um, classified by Kruser and Skarke. And actually, we, we, we had, um, this morning, we had a talk by Brad Nelson um, about um, using this database for actually Swiss cheese. Um, in the next slide, I will briefly sketch uh, the um, idea of uh, this Kruser Skarke list, uh, well, emphasizing on its combinatorial nature. <coughs> uh, as for the vector bundles, uh, we will construct uh, monad vector bundles, which um, have actually been um, studied by uh, 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 many, many papers um, in the context of string model building. Um, we believe that uh, they form a um, large class of holomorphic vector bundles on a given projective variety. So um, basically, uh, the vacua we will be constructing are uh, monad bundles on hypersurface Tori Calabria threefolds. <coughs> um, so let me now move on to uh, a bit of details about um, the two constructions. Uh, I'll start with um, uh, the Calabia side of the story. 
for this, uh, we make an extensive use of toric geometry, uh, which can be thought of as a um, combinatorial toolkit for a certain type of algebraic varieties called toric varieties. Um, it is combinatorial in that um, the um, required data um, lives in um, some integer lattices. So we uh, basically imagine uh, two auxiliary lattices of rank small n um, dual to each other via the natural inner product. And here, uh, this rank small n uh, turns out to be equal to the complex dimension of the toric variety described by the toric data. <coughs> uh, so uh, we define a fan as a collection of cones in this lattice that n are nicely adjoined with one another. Um, instead of giving a full description of how this works, uh, let me just give an illustrative two-dimensional example. So, so uh, this is an example of a fan in Z2. <coughs> so there are uh, uh, three um, um, two-dimensional cones uh, shade, uh, shaded here, and also uh, three uh, one-dimensional cones uh, or edges um, as uh, these thick half lines. So what we do is uh, we associate a complex coordinate to each of these three edges. And uh, it turns out that um, these three complex coordinates just become the um, three homogeneous coordinates of P2. So in other words, um, uh, drawing this um, toric diagram is kind of equivalent to giving this um, ident identification rule for P2. So this is a really nice combinatorial picture of P2. Uh, actually, um, it's not the end of the story. So um, uh, some of the fans are actually good enough to describe not only toric varieties, but also um, Calabia hypersurfaces embedded therein. And um, this example actually uh, turns out to be a good fan. So um, this figure on the right is exactly the previous fan. And because uh, it's a good fan, it has a um, nice, well-defined uh, dual diagram um, in the dual lattice, uh, where in the end we can get some um, bounded polytope region. And it turns out that um, each of the lattice points inside this polytope uh, represents a cubic monomial uh, of the three homogeneous coordinates. And this is how uh, the historic data knows about a cubic hypersurface in P2 or a Calabia one-fold. Um, a natural generalization of the um, previous example um, can go um, as follows. So Calabia three-folds can be constructed by four-dimensional good fans. Um, however, however um, they are not always smooth, and one sometimes has to slightly modify the toric data um, to guarantee the smoothness of the varieties. But actually, um, this is uh, also uh, a combinatory process and has indeed been inco uh, encoded in a computer called PALP. And um, yeah, so, so this can deal with this um, smoothing issues. And I should also mention that uh, toric data can easily determine uh, all the Calabia topologies relevant to our model building. So yeah, this combinatorics can deal with basically everything for our model building. So how many of them? So this morning we saw from Brian's talk that there arise 500 million Calabria threefolds um, um, from four-dimensional good fans. So this is way too many. And then uh, we want to uh, restrict to some smaller subclass of all these. <coughs> and uh, one natural subclass um, are uh, those Calabria threefolds embedded in smooth ambient toric varieties. So the ambient varieties uh, don't need to be smooth, but this is one uh, natural subclass we can think of, uh, for which there are 100 Calabria threefolds, roughly. And um, a systematic model building has indeed been undertaken for this subclass. But um, unfortunately, we haven't been able to obtain any um, simple enough models here. Uh, as for some uh, other natural subclass, um, one can think of um, Calabria threefolds uh, with small number of Keller moduli. Uh, so either one, two, or three Keller moduli, for which there are about 350 Calabria threefolds. And this will be the uh, class of Calabria threefolds we'll be considering here. Now let me quickly describe the bundle side of the story. So the basic idea is to make use of line bundles 
as the building blocks, uh, which are labeled by um, uh, some integer vector in Z H11. <coughs> and a monad, a monad is now, uh, roughly speaking, uh, a quotient of two sums of line bundles. So more precisely, uh, a monad bundle V uh, is defined by a short exact sequence of this form, where uh, BIs and CAs here are <coughs> some integer vectors in Z H11. Uh, also, you can think of V as a, a, a kernel of this bundle map F, which can be thought of as an RC by RB polynomial matrix whose A comma I entries are of degree or multi-degree CA minus BI. Uh, and uh, we impose this positivity condition for the degrees. Right. So um, we'd like to um, explore the um, uh, bundle topology, of course, and first comes the Chun classes. And they can be easily read off from the, um, so all these can be easily read off from the uh, short exactness of the defining sequence. And upon imposing the physics constraints I've just described, uh, we arrive at these uh, algebraic equations of uh, Bs and Cs um, of degree 0, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, finally, for the bundle cohomology, the short exact sequence leads to this um, long exact sequence at the level of cohomology. And once we impose this positivity condition on the line bundles, uh, we have this vanishing theorem. And then, in particular, we have um, H2 of V vanishing. And this implies that we don't get any anti-families uh, in our models. So this is good. And furthermore, um, it seems that uh, this positiveness, positivity of the line bundles is related to uh, the bundle stability, which can be uh, quite difficult uh, if you want to do it uh, in a brute force manner. So we impose this positivity condition as a natural constraint for our model building. So here is the result. Uh, we have undertaken a systematic scan for semi-realistic models, where uh, semi-realistic means three generations, anomaly freeness, and uh, gut group nature. And um, uh, we have constructed about 1.7 million heterotic bundles over 31 Calabria threefolds. And, and here is the um, <coughs> um, um, statistics of the bundle indices. So as you can see, uh, for majority of them, uh, the indices are pretty large compared to three. And um, indeed, um, after you impose some necessary conditions for <coughs> the group or the kappa, uh, we are only left with um, about 2,000 heterotic bundles on two Calabria threefolds. And, and these will be uh, the um, surviving models we have. So to conclude, <coughs> uh, we've seen that um, uh, thanks to the combinatorial nature of toric geometry and uh, monad construction, um, heterotic model building turned into a um, constrained integer system, and we have obtained uh, about 2,000 um, candidate models for semi-realistic uh, heterotic models. Uh, of course, for the details of the models, uh, we need to better understand the geometry, and um, um, we are currently trying to figure out um, some issues um, with some simpler manifolds. So that's it. Thank you. <coughs> There's only two Calabrias which are left, but distinguishes those. Uh, so, sorry? There's only two Calabrias. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Are, these, are they special in any case? Any um, so, so, well, so both of them <coughs> have H1 for three, and they were basically selected by um, these criteria I just mentioned. Um, um, and, 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 and all these um, 2,000 bundles are of SU5 structure group. And, um, well, uh, yeah. How many families do you get on for these? How many families? Oh, three, three generations. Yeah. 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 So the, um, the discrete structure, the discrete symmetry you want out is coupled. Is it always as a two or? No, no. Actually, uh, actually, um, um, for for one of these Calabias, uh, we require group of the four, and for the other, we require group of the eight. Any more questions? So we thank Kika again.